Hello everyone, uh, this video titled Mass Survivor is a proof of concept. I'm currently working on a new YouTube channel based on cartography, travel and food. But I'm testing out one of the concepts here using Google Maps to explore the world. Here I'm using Google Street View and Maps to find my way to Mass. And it is based on the discovery show called Dude You're Screwed, where each week one of six friends, both all survival experts, kidnapped one of their members and dropped him in the middle of nowhere and he had 100 hours to find his way back to civilization. Now the rules of this are I will be using Google Street View and Maps. What I will do is I will focus on Western Europe, doing a blind drop on Europe and then have 10 minutes to find my way to a Catholic church so I can get to Mass. I can only use Google Street View and the locator map on the bottom left and on it I'm, the property must be able to be accessed via Street View meaning must be either outside or on the avenue entrance to the church. One street away doesn't count or across the river doesn't count. Seeing the church doesn't count. This is really a stay proof of concept video just to see how it works. I may change the format or I may find that this format works great. And please let me know what you think and I'm open to suggestions. So without further ado, uh, so let's get going and try this out. So let's see what happens. Now I'm having a few problems with the internet here today so hopefully all things will run smoothly. Now as part of uh, this when you drop the Google, the little Google man, as I call him, you'll see other places when you're browsing around looking, in this instance, looking for the church. You'll see some other things, beautiful views, uh, beautiful towns, uh, some wonderful scenery. Some things you'll see and go, wow, I'd love to see that. I'd love to visit there. So, as part of this, in the comments below, if you know the town, know the area, please comment below and let people know things to see and do. That's part of this. That we are. One of the things I want to do here is to build a community to open people's eyes to the beauty that's around them. And Furtis is looking for churches. And in my own hometown, there are some really, really beautiful churches. And you want you sometimes feel you want to share that beauty with others. And what I'm doing is I'm purposely not looking where I'm dropping the Google man because I want to find a place that I may never have been. I would not look for let's say a place that I don't know about. And I need to open my eyes to other possibilities and doing that has brought me the greatest joy I could ever hope for in life. I never thought I'd look or meet someone outside of Ireland, yet I did. And I met this wonderful woman from half a world away who has made my life amazing. And that is part of the underlying thing in this series too. So let's begin with this and see what happens. And hopefully it ain't going to be too bad or too cringy. So what I'm going to do is drop the little Google man. I'll take a few seconds to orientate. I will pause the stream to copy the address from the address bar so I can find my way back. And what I'm doing is closing my eyes and dropping at random and seeing can I find a church. Or maybe not. Let's try that again. Sometime, right, let's go. Right, where have I ended up? Now, I have done some French, so I am guessing this is French. 
Porto Leo. Yeah. And this looks like a lovely little place, so I'm going to pause this stream for two moments. Okay, I paused for a few seconds there to copy the address of the address bar. The point being is if in the 10 minutes I cannot find a Catholic church, I'll re-input the address into the address bar and then try and find it by using the search option here, which will be here. And seeing how close I was, I did a test uh, for myself yesterday and it dropped in actually in Nottingham, England. And I browsed around looking for a Catholic church. I spent 10 minutes jumping around using this here to just browse through the city quicker. Not necessarily going along a road because that could be pretty boring. <laughs> well, more boring. And couldn't find one. I found Methodist churches, I found mosques, I found Anglican churches. Pretty much, I think, about seven or eight different churches of different denominations, but couldn't find a Catholic church. And so I went back, used the entity the address back in, and then searched for Catholic churches. And lo and behold, had I turned right down the street instead of going left, there was a Catholic church, basically from what you can see here. Let's see this. You see the bend in the river? About that far away from where I dropped the little Google man. So what happens? So to begin, as this is the first video, and this is just a preliminary and a test, I'll be, I've been waffling on for a small bit. But in future, what will happen if this works, I'm going to take 30 seconds, orientate myself, have a quick look around, see what I can see, and then the test will begin. So about 20 seconds now, I'll start it at the uh, mark, and I shall begin. So orientating myself, is there anything I can see? No. Nothing I can see. Nothing I can see. Uh, near a small village, I imagine. So I'm, this may not take too long. And I begin. So let's see. Ah. Uh, now, part of this is that I must be able to yeah, here we go. There's a little church. That took all of about 30 seconds. But what we'll do is we'll have a little walk around this town and see what happens. We'll go up, we'll go back up the street. Even though it says you can't go it, this is Google. By magic. There we can. So we have found a little church. L'Église Saint Laurent d'Argentine. Argentine. Nice. It is. That's a nice place. This is part of this. The idea of doing this is to. Also explore little towns. La Grande Rue, that's this is probably the main street. Street here. Is there any little thing in this town? Oh, this is beautiful. These are picturesque little streets. This is something that you'd like to walk through. Have a drive, walk along, or cycle, and just something to pass through. Now I'm calling that a win. It was took thirty all of thirty seconds to find the church. So that would be a win. And what I might do now is because that was so quick, I will try it from another point of view. So 
So I'm going to go back. And try another. Do another 10 minutes, and that will be it. This is the first stream, so I please, hopefully, you'll indulge me a little in this. This is still testing proof of concept, so closing my eyes and dropping. Where do I end up? Wow. Now I will be blocking out some of the, uh, if it's a private photograph I will block it out because very often you'll find that there are the name, that there are people in the photographs and this guy here for instance but you cannot see the face so I think that's legitimate. Now I have gone 30 seconds and now I have to find my Oh, I'm pausing the stream to copy the link. Apologies. So let's see what we can see here. About 10 minutes to find the Catholic town, so I imagine. Ah. <laughs> Cathedral du Monaco. I think we have a winner again. Now, I've done this a few times. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Part of this is also that eventually I may start doing series where I look also try and find images from inside the church and just share the beautiful splendor that is our faith. Small little churches to wonderfully large churches. Some churches in rundown communities. Some churches in affluent communities. Doesn't matter. You also look around these towns, villages, and cities that you come to, and it's spectacular. Or it could be mundane, but it's the joy of exploring and finding what you. Finding some place you've never seen before. Here we go. This place is, I think, I think I call it a win again. And that was all of about 30 seconds again. I did one or two tests before this just for fun. And I think on each occasion I failed miserably. But I think I count that as two wins. Now, hopefully, hopefully you people, uh, see some potential in this and if you have any suggestions please pop it in the comments below I really would appreciate it and look if you could give it a thumbs up or look even a thumbs down oh, everything helps comments very helpful and if you haven't subbed to this channel a sub would be very much appreciated so I just want to say thank you for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Uh, I will be refining the methods and maybe doing a little exploring around the town. And thank you. Well, hopefully you didn't think that was too much of a dumpster fire. It's my first attempt and the show, it's very raw, needs a lot of work. But I hope the proof of concept is enough to get you to come back and look at some more. I am open to your suggestions as to how I can improve. And I'm sure there are many ways I can improve this. If you think there's that I am doing well with it, that's I appreciate that too. If, if it is a good proof of concept. And... Please, I would like to hear your suggestions. Comment below. Like I said, in the body of the show, give us a thumbs up. Give a comment. Give a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll be making one of these again very soon. And I'll be carrying on with some of my other series as well. So I hope to see you all again soon. And God bless.